Christmas. Hi, it's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera where it's pre-propped on a tripod and I'm not like holding it myself. But I did promise in my last vlog that I would share a bit of a, I guess, Christmas decor haul because even though we're at the very start of November right now when I'm filming this, I've already bought some stuff. I told myself I would not do this. And then I did. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've picked up already this season. And then you may have spotted some of my storage tubs next to me. I thought we could do a little sort of unboxing opening of my storage tubs and just seeing what decor I already have. Some of the stuff you will have seen before, if you're new to my channel, it will all be new to you and you can kind of see what I'm working with. And then my next few videos, you will see it go up to decorate my apartment for Christmas. I'm very keen to get started, so I needed to get this video filmed ASAP. I'm still gonna call this a vlog and that will give me a bit of leeway in terms of it not being a super polished video. Right, the first thing I have in front of me is a cushion. <laughs> it is from TK Maxx. It was $29.99. The prices in TK Maxx Australia have definitely gone up again this year. I feel like this would have been $20 a year or so or two ago. Um, but I walked in, I saw this one, I was attracted to it. So it came home with me. I feel like it has kind of vintage vibes to it. I have left the tags on because I like to sit with things for a little bit and then decide whether... I want to return it or I want to keep it. I'm pretty confident this one will stay because, you know, it was an instant attraction. <laughs> Similarly, <laughs> I also bought myself a throw. This one is from the brand 34th and Pine. Again, from TK Maxx, $34.99 this one. Nice kind of red and white with some, I was going to call them tassels, but they're not really tassels. They're I don't know, something on the bottom. I had been looking for some Christmas bedding because the Christmas bedding that I have is really old. I've got a coverlet that I picked up on eBay. It must be like almost 10 years ago now and it's kind of, you could tell the inside is going funny, like it's disintegrating. Haven't had much luck finding a replacement. Again, not sure whether this one will stay, but um, I'm gonna play around and see how it goes. I do really love the coloring. It does look really nice with this as well. I tend to go for a red, black and white theme in my bedroom, which you'll see, so I'm hoping that those will go nicely in there. I might go through these kind of quickly because you've already seen them, but I did pick up a whole bunch of bottle brush trees from Ikea. I will pop a link to that Ikea vlog because I show you some of the Ikea Christmas stuff if you missed that one, but I'm really looking forward to decorating with these this year. And also in the end of that vlog, you might have spotted this little rattan sleigh. This is actually a hamper basket. It's from Target this year. It was $30, kind of stalked Target until I finally spotted it in my local and snatched it up. I actually got one for my sister as well. I don't know really what I'm gonna do with it, but I just, I thought it was quite unique. I hadn't seen anything like it before, so it came home with me. I have some candles actually to share with you guys. I picked up, I've got four of these, but for some reason I'm only holding three. These I got off of Amazon. I'd been looking for taper candles, but specifically like digital or LED ones, battery operated ones, because I love the idea of candlesticks and candles in candlesticks, but to be honest, I would never really light one. I don't really want to have to deal with the, you know, worrying about lighting my apartment on fire. And I came across these and these were the nicest ones that I'd found. I love that they had like the little black wick and then the light kind of flickers. There's a couple of different options in terms of brightness. You, It does also come with a remote, which I have hanging around. I think it's in there somewhere. And you can set them on a timer. I haven't managed to get the timer to work yet, but I'll play around with that and hopefully I will. So I'll link those in the description box for you as well as with as much as I can. Obviously the TK Maxx stuff I can't link and the older stuff I won't be able to link, but the newer things, if possible, check the description box so you can do your shopping from there. Also with the candles, I thought I'd mention this. I had talked about getting a LED flickering candle from TK Maxx and I'd only bought one and I realized I really needed to get two. I went back to TK Maxx didn't find them and then randomly I was in a $2 shop, one called Red Dollar and they had a whole bunch of them. It's the exact same. It was $7.50. 
So I've got the other one there and I picked up a second one. The candlesticks that were the reason that I wanted to get the tapers are these ones here. These are from Spotlight. I loved the mid-century modern vibe that they had. They're the Boucler uh, range. They were $25 each, which I thought was really expensive, but I waited until the Boucler stuff was, I think it was either 25 or 30% off, which made them, brought them down to like $18 something, if they were 25% off. I actually got these more for my day-to-day -day decor, but I bought them around when I already decorated for Halloween. So they'll be debuting as part of my Christmas decor. So I wanted to share those as well. Sorry, I'm really not doing this in any kind of order. It's just what I've got next to me. You'll see there's a lot of TK Maxx. I tend to go in there a lot at Christmas time and Halloween is, is when I really shop. I feel like they do some of the best decor. I got these, which aren't technically Christmas. They're the Moscow Mule mugs, but I had mentioned that I wanted them recently and I happened to spot a couple. They've had them before, they tend to get them in and out, but they've gotten them back in again. So I got two in this rose gold with the, or the copper with the gold handle and this hammered sort of metal finish. So these are $7.99. And I'll go probably on my bar cart. They look really nice. I've actually just had them sitting in something else that I picked up from TK Maxx, which is this tray here. I actually got this to potentially go on my coffee table. I had a tray similar to this without handles that was from H&M Home that I really like, but it's just a little bit too small. So I wanted to get something slightly bigger and I did buy that um, wicker, or not wicker, what would you call this? Hyacinth? Forgotten the name. Water Hyacinth, I think it's called. Uh, this is from Big W. It's recent. I really like this one as well. But I thought I would... The wood look is a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more closer to my normal mid-century modern style, I guess. Again, not necessarily part of my Christmas decor, but I might use it to style some bits and pieces, whether it be on my table or somewhere else. And that one was $24.95. A little bit more TK Maxx. I walked into the store the other day and fell in love with these trees. These are $19.99 each. They have a grey and sort of white stone base. I don't know what the actual greenery is called, but I find whatever this particular style is, it's the most realistic looking when it comes to fake stuff. I have nowhere to put these trees, to be honest. I don't have any other flat surfaces, but I just, I fell in love with them so much, so I'm going to find somewhere to put them, and they're gonna be amazing. All right, I'll quickly show you these again. These are the picks that I picked up from Kmart. I got four of the white berry picks and four of the red berry picks four sets of two sorry i should say they come in a set of two these ones i've had before and you might see them in one of my boxes so i just want to pull them out they are very very similar to previous year's ones i think the only difference is that they've added some more kind of traditional looking eucalyptus leaves whereas i think these were more of like a holly style eucalyptus shape but very similar if you had the old ones you could certainly mix them together and you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference they're really nice picks and a really decent price at five dollars for the two considering how expensive picks can get in australia and how many you usually need in order to make your tree in order to make an impact on your tree i guess i would say this is my most recent purchase i picked this up on sunday if you watched my Christmas videos last year, you might have seen that I actually picked up a countdown calendar last year and I really, really liked that one. But I saw this in Spotlight and I just fell in love and I bought it. So now I have two. I don't know whether I will give away my other one or whether I'll just use two. It says days until Christmas. It's got the one to 25. And the only thing I don't necessarily love about it is this little mini wreath that they gave with it. It's pretty, I don't know, cheap and poor looking, but you could easily substitute this with a little ornament or something you make yourself. You could probably make this look a little bit nicer as well. You could hang a little treat, a little treat bag off of every single one if you wanted to use it like an advent calendar. This one was $25. Again, it's that Boucler range and they have 25% off in spotlight so it came down to I want to say like 1875 maybe which I think is really good price it's very like solid it's like a 
a wood type thing with the shiplap look. It was one of those things that I walked straight up to it. There's another girl there and I'm like, I need it. And she's like, you do. And it was a sign. So I bought it. <laughs> Scooch this big basket that I have over here. This is not Christmas decorations, but this is a gift for my sister's dog. So I thought I would include it. Um, it's a Christmas donut, $5.99 from TK Maxx. Bronte loves donuts but she eventually being a groodle she does eventually destroy her toys so i got her a new donut for christmas to play with it does have a squeaker in it i think yeah i love a annoying toy for my sister and brother-in-law next i have some tree decorations to show you i tended to buy these in sets of three um so they're all sold individually but i just bought three of them so the first one is this bauble from TK Maxx. These were $3.99 each and the brand is Vixen and Velvet. I really loved the color of these and I liked that they were that glass finish. Now, <laughs> they are fragile, which is not great if you have small children or, you know, pets or just clumsy like me. But I do love mixing these glass see-through ornaments with the more solid, just classic shatterproof baubles because I feel like it adds a lot of texture to your tree if there's lights the lights tend to shine through the tree through the ornament sorry and they just have a lightness to them that I feel like balances sometimes quite ornament heavy trees that are all very solid opaque ornaments I don't know if I'm making any sense at all but I really really like those and they happen to have three so I grabbed all three of them. I'll just show you one since they are all wrapped up. The next ones, I'm not sure if I already showed these or not but these are from Target. Again I got three of them. Target had some absolutely gorgeous uh, ornaments this year, really really liked those. These were either five or six dollars each, I can't remember. Again they're that glass see-through look a little bit bigger too which i like to sort of balance out i don't have as many big ornaments and then also from target i have three of these metal snowflakes these have a, a gold kind of brushed over them but you can also see the white through as well loved those i think i've got one more set from target it's buried down the bottom here so we'll pull out something else i got another set of lights I got a set of these last year. I picked them up off of eBay. Again, I'll try and link them below. They're the cluster lights. It's a thousand LED warm white. I'm very big on the warm white lights and I love these cluster ones because they have a lot of lights in a very small sort of space as in you get a lot more light on a shorter string, I guess you could say. So they really make an impact. And last year I said I needed more light, so this year I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy another strand so we can really, really get the tree lit up this year. Oh, here's those Target ones that I was talking about. These I did show in a vlog a little while back. They're just these wooden, like a sort of natural wood, a white, and then it's kind of like a taupey neutral slightly lilac -y pink color it's really hard to describe the bottom color but I loved these and I just thought that they would add that more natural element to my tree I tend to go for nothing sort of super glam and blingy if it is I like to sort of pair in some woods and natural I guess um, elements to bring it down because I don't necessarily want it to be on a full-on glam tree that's just not my particular decorating style and then i did show these before but i'll quickly show them again these are the beaded garland from kmart i ended up picking up four of these they were five dollars each but i just wasn't sure how many i would need so i grabbed four and lastly i grabbed some of these wooden ornaments that you can put photos in i love the idea of having photos on your tree so obviously the red comes out and you can put a photo in so they're not quite so in your face but these were something new from Kmart this year and I thought it'd be nice to maybe put some photos of my family or friends or kids in there so I picked up five of those and I think these were maybe two dollars each from memory the last thing here I have is this giant basket which is also from Kmart this is the extra large woven round basket it has a 50 centimeter diameter. So this, <laughs> I would love to have at the base of my tree. The, my actual base is a little bit too big 
for this, but I think it would make a good like tree collar type thing if you've got a tree that's got a smaller base. I'm going to play around with this. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use it, but I'm going to try and use it in my Christmas decorations one way or another. And then obviously year round you can just use it as a basket. It holds a lot. I feel like I tried to speak really quickly there because I was talking for a very long time. But I think that's pretty much everything new that I've picked up in terms of Christmas decorations. So should we get on to having a quick look in these tubs? All right, in the interest of saving time, I've pulled all the lids off. I've actually stuck them in the shower because they were all really dirty. Um, but we've got a little production line of Christmas decor here. And we're just going to go through it as quickly as possible. So the first thing you can see, I've got some picks. These are just eucalyptus stems. These are from Ikea. I love adding these to my Christmas tree. I can't wait to do that again this year. Got some more picks. These are the ones that I was talking about before, the white berry ones from Kmart. They are very, very similar. Some slightly different leaves there, but they will go nicely with my new ones. I've got a bunch of those in there as well. Oh, did some interesting packing last year. You can tell. Real pine cones. I love real pine cones. I always just keep them bagged up and stored with my decorations. You can see I got these on clearance, clearance, clearance from TK Maxx a number of years ago. I love these colours and just the little ornaments are great for little trees as well as on my main tree up the top where I want some smaller, more delicate bits. Some more faux greenery. I think this whole box is actually mainly Christmas ornaments, so I'm not going to pull this all out. Otherwise, I will never get it back in. But we can open up this. This little storage bag is from Kmart as well. And you can see here, I've got all my ornaments stored. I obviously stocked up on some ornament hooks at the end of last year. So that's great. And all my different ornaments. A lot of mine are from, like these are from Kmart. A lot are from H&M Home. These are all H&M Home. Some of these special ones here, like my little hot cocoa is from TK Maxx. I have some more delicate ones here that are wrapped up in paper, more pine cones, and then I've got some more baubles here. I got a bunch of these sets from H&M Home two years ago now, although they've got some stunning ornaments out, very similar again this year. I love them. So I'm going to leave that at, as is and we'll move along to the next box. In this one, it looks like I've got some more home decor. This sign I got a couple of years ago from TK Maxx. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas, which is one of my favorite Christmas songs. So I love that. Oh, my Santa hat. Good old, very OG viewers will recognize and remember my Victoria's Secret Santa hat that I've had for many, many years. I get it out every single Christmas. Looks like I've got my cushion covers here. I'll pull out some to show you guys. This is the, one of the first things I do to decorate because it's really easy. It's just a matter of changing out some pillows on my lounge. This one I've actually got for my bedroom, and then which is from Spotlight. I got that last year. And then these ones were all from H&M Home. So a bunch of these. What I love about them is because they're sold as cushion covers as opposed to cushions themselves, I can just switch off the covers off my like normal cushions and it's so much easier to store. It's my little colour palette that I've got going on for my living room. What else do I have hiding in here? Oh, this is my Christmas countdown from last year that I mentioned before. Really nice. This one's obviously fabric, but I got that from TK Maxx. I've got some... Oh, let's turn that off. My little um, Marioki elf remote, um, not remote, microphone. Okay, some ornaments. These ones were from Target last year that I actually hung on my stockings, which are from TK Maxx. I've also got a stocking here from Marks and Spencer, which you can see I've actually used to wrap some of my ornaments to protect them. Stocking hangers. These are from TK Maxx. Oh, I can see a Christmas tree. I can see another Christmas tree. Lots of Christmas trees. These are all from TK Maxx. Some more Christmas trees. I can see a couple of candles. I saved this one from last year. Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. I can already smell it. Delicious. 
some little decorative Christmas trees. This one was from Target last year. Um, some bottle brush trees. These ones were from TK Maxx. What else have I got hiding in here? All this star that I DIY'd from Ikea. I think this is mainly stuff that goes on my bookshelves. I've got a little white house from Kmart. In here, I know these are some more bottle brush trees from TK Maxx. Ooh, I've got a bunch more candles as well. TK Maxx. TK Maxx. <laughs> Not sponsored at all, but if they ever wanted to sponsor me, I'd be totally down for it because I clearly shop there a lot. These were a new addition last year, these metal reindeers from Kmart. I love these. Another sign, also from TK Maxx. And I've got my little Ray Dunn set of pots that say Merry, Joy and Cheer. And I often use pine cones in them, so I've just stored them in there. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, I've got a little cookie jar, a gnome cookie jar from TK Maxx. I might just leave these things in here. And then I've got a little hanger, which is from a $2 shop. Some more trees, as if I didn't have enough Christmas trees. This one's from Kmart and this one's from Adair's. More candles, Bath and Body Works and TK Maxx. You can see that red, black and white that goes in my bedroom. Oh, this tree I got last year, again from TK Maxx. I've got a couple of light-up bits that I've had for a long time. I think they were from Kmart originally. So that is everything in that tub. Oh, it's a pillow. <laughs> this was a new purchase last year. It's a merry and bright cushion from TK Maxx. Really love that one. I'm going to set it out right now. This is a garland that I got from TK Maxx as well. This one goes on my media stand. I love it because it's nice and flat, so it lays really nicely across that. Looks like in here I have some Christmas bedding. I got this years ago off of eBay. That's the one that I'm kind of looking to replace. These cushions I got a number of years ago from Big W. And I really like them, but I think I don't really have enough space for them anymore, so these might go to my parents' house because I know that they don't really have Christmas cushions for their lounge and they would go well with the decor they've got there. And then it looks like I've got another one of these. Oh no, I've got two of them. I've got two light-up trees. These go on my media stand if I just unwrap one of them. These, these I got from TK Maxx last year. I ended up getting two of them and having one on each side of my TV. I really love them. They're kind of like a gold mercury glass look. And then I've got, oh, I love this. This is another last year purchase. It's my cute little Santa. It's kind of like a doorstop. I'm not in the best position to show you this, but he's a jolly Santa and I sit him under my Christmas tree. Also from TK Maxx, I feel like I sound like a broken record have a vase here that I have filled with pine cones, which is often actually how I decorate with them, but it's also, I put them in different places and just, it's easy to store them in the container while they're being packed away each year. And then at the very bottom there, I've got another ornament holder that I haven't used, but I picked up from Kmart as well in case, or as my ornament collection expands, I can use that. So that's that box. I'm gonna leave my jolly little Santa out. All right, and last of my big containers here, I have a faux blanket. This one was from H&M Home. It actually matches one of the cushion covers that I have. A nice rustic feel. Then this one seems to be full of garlands. So I've got two big garlands here. It's actually four, it's two, lots of two. I picked these up from Adair's a few years back and I love them. They have the eucalyptus in them, which ties together with my tree and a bunch of other greenery. Really nice and I've added my own lights to them as well. I hang these over my doorways each year and I think I'll do a, the same again this year. It just works really well. It's very effective. <laughs> a little bit tangled. Let's see if I can untangle this. So we have some more picks. These ones kind of are uh, similar to the garland. I often use these 
more as like a bouquet type thing in my decorating. I also have some of these more glam sparkly picks. These match one of the wreaths in here. I think I've got two wreaths buried underneath there. Those ones are from Habitania. This one was just a random one that I picked up. It's all on its own, but I actually use this in my bedroom. I have this container that holds some Christmas lights. I've actually got some lights here from Anthropology that I've had for many years. I've got my tree skirt or tree collar. This one is from... Oh, is this a Kmart one? Yes, I think this is the Kmart one from last year or the year before. Let's pull this out. And then I've got two wreaths in here. One, they're very different, but I managed to make them work together. This one is from Habitania. I love the colouring of this one. And this one matches those garlands and is from Adairs. So my plan this year is to try and add some lights to this as well. So I'll need to get some little wire lights for this. Then we have a little star that I got from a $2 shop that I actually kind of DIY'd, added some bits and pieces to. And you can see all my command hooks that I use for hanging my garland. I actually like to store the hooks that I use with the decorations so that I know that I have them there ready for me when I go to decorate. And then I've got another Christmas ornament box. Some more garland here. This one was from Freedom. It's little gold pine cones. And what else do I have down here? Oh, I've got a couple of Christmas stars. From, oh, I can get this out from various years. I think this one might have been a Kmart one. And this one... I think I actually got this from the house. I think we might have had this for many, many years. I'm not sure where it came from. And that's everything in that box. I do have one more baby tub that does have some Christmas bits in it. These are some plant stands that actually were, came with some Christmas trees that I have in pots that I actually keep up here because they're too big to store. I have my star, which is from Target. I think we've got the exact same out again this year. And then I've got my berry picks that I picked up last year from eBay. And these ones have berries and pine cones on them. I've got a whole bunch of them in there because I chopped them all up. If you um, watched my Christmas tree decorating video from last year, you can see all of that. I'll pop a link to that on the screen for you guys as well as in the description box. So you can see how that all came together. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here because I'm sure it's already gone for a very, very long time. I could talk and talk and talk about Christmas decorations, as you can probably tell. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek of what is in my storage boxes and the new bits and pieces that I've brought. I am gonna start decorating now. I will be doing a separate video specifically on my tree this year because I've got something extra special planned. I'm actually doing a little bit of a collaboration with a brand. So if you wanna have a guess on what brand that could be, it's a brand that I've spoken about before that I've purchased from before and that I really, really like. So if you're a long time viewer, pop your guesses in the comments i would love to know if you can if you can maybe guess but so there'll be definitely a video on the tree and that whole decorating process but what other things would you like to see um, let me know and definitely check out the description box for links to past videos as well as whatever from this haul that i can link i will try and make it easy for you to find but if i've missed something leave me a comment. I am always answering your questions and trying to find things for you and or give you options if it's not available. So chat to me there and otherwise I hope you're doing really well. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye! Oh I should have, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even highlight that. I put the Christmas hat on because obviously I couldn't have had it in the start of the video but it needed to make an appearance in in the video now. It's tradition. I also thought that I didn't really have a very Christmassy background and then I realized it's because all the Christmas decorations were packed and now they're not. So, you know, you can see a little bit of red now. I feel very festive. I've made a massive mess. Wish me luck cleaning it up. Okay, I can go now. Bye. If you ever wondered what the aftermath of these videos are like, this is what it is. I always wondered because I've watched so many of them before. Everybody unpacks tubs and tubs and tubs of things. And now I know, you just create a mess. I have Christmas everywhere. 
It's like Christmas threw up in my apartment. But you know what? I'm not mad about it. 